The Afternoons with Joy podcast is presented by United Faith Mortgage. Let their direct lender advantage save you time and money. Welcome to a new episode of the Afternoons with Joy podcast. Life can be crazy, and so we carve a little time out here to talk about faith, family, and fun. I do a radio show on Way FM. If you ever want to catch it live, it's from 3 to 8 Central Time, Monday through Saturday. It's graduation season, and so in today's podcast, you're going to hear some impromptu graduation speeches. This might actually be a fun thing to do around the dinner table with friends or family. Give them 30 seconds and see what they say. You're going to hear mine and producer Tom's. Spoiler alert, neither one is great. They're both kind of ridiculous. (laughs) At the very end of the podcast, you're going to hear a dynamic between two brand new friends. So I'm getting to know producer Tom and his wife. I offered to babysit for them. Find out why I'm not. (laughs) graduation season. You may have even seen people are talking about today how Taylor Swift gave the address at the NYU graduation. Oh, yeah. I've always wanted to do that because it makes you like an instant doctor. (laughs) Even though you did not do any of the schooling, you get the piece of paper. And so I thought it might be helpful if we processed what we would say if we were going to do an address to (laughs) the class of 2022. The kids are about to walk. Tom's nervous because I told him that he's about to give a speech. And I had no idea why. (laughs) Listen, you don't have to prepare something. I think you need to speak from your heart. So we're going to go ahead and let producer Tom go first. And this is me at a graduation ceremony. Yeah, imagine you're speaking to this year's graduates. I mean, your daughter's going to be there in just a few years. She's 14. So (laughs) you've got 30 seconds because they don't have long attention spans. I mean, (laughs) longer than 30 seconds. But all right, Tom, it is your birthday. We're letting you go first. Speak to the class, give them a charge, and go. Oh, my gosh. Well, congratulations, class of, what are we at, 2022? (laughs) Um, Look, you think you may know everything in this moment, right? But you don't. Life is really, really difficult. So enjoy this moment with your family, with your friends, and you think school might be done. I mean, you got to go to college, right? So, (laughs) Joy, you put me on the spot. Um, But look... You, you just do the best you can. Everything will be okay. Put your faith in, in God, please. And he'll wow. guide you in the right direction. Way to go. Was that 30 seconds? 33. You oh, fit I, Jesus in I did. right in the last. <laughs> just like someone at, like, at the Grammys. They're you like, put me on God. the spot. I had no idea. Way to go. Since you put me on the spot, Joy, <laughs> I think you got 30 seconds to do a speech. To the class of 2022. Yes. All right, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Joy Summers. I, I, I start off bad already. <laughs> Congratulations, graduates. I just want you to know you are not what you do. You are created by God with value all your own, with a personality and with skills. And your job is to get to know God because then he's going to help you get to know your skills and your purpose. And... It's a great idea to go to therapy. They're really going to help you stand up for yourself, know who you are, and maybe wear more sunscreen than you do and get um, a 401k. Thank you. (laughs) I'm out of time. (laughs) That was not any better at all. 34 seconds. Oh, no. No, you started off, you know. Horrible. Yeah, but then you picked up and it was inspiring. So you did good. I have more advice, but obviously none of it comes out well. (laughs) I'm hoping someone has a better speech than we do. Congratulations, graduate. The day you've been waiting for is finally here. My only piece of advice to you would be to go out, do your best, know God, and make God known. Oh, that was so good. And it was shorter than Tom's. Man, are you speaking at a graduation this year? (laughs) I would love to have you at one because most people speak for 30 minutes and ain't nobody got attention for that. Birthdays are not quite as exciting the older that we get, but you can still get exciting gifts. Yesterday was producer Tom's 39th. Tell me what you got. Yeah, so I got, you know, like some shirts and I have a beard, so I got some beard shampoo, some practical things. (laughs) Practical (laughs) gifts are the worst. (laughs) But apparently there is a gift on its way. Ooh, a big surprise. It could be here when we get home. It could be this weekend. (laughs) Okay. I think it's funny that his wife did not get his gift on time because he did not get her a Mother's Day gift on time. I see a trend here. (laughs) Tell me what you think it might be. Well, what I'm hoping it's not is a grill. I don't know. In my gut. Yeah, but I don't want to have to learn how to grill. (laughs) You're like, it comes with a job. (laughs) Hey, it's Joy. Just taking a quick break from this podcast to tell you about our incredible sponsors. There are times... 
you just need help. A few weeks ago, my son was super sick and he gave the virus to my husband. I was the last woman standing and I was struggling to take care of my family and my home and my job. And if it wasn't for my in-laws, I do not know what I would have done. I made an emergency call to my mother-in-law and she started helping immediately. And that is where family comes in. I think that's why I'm so excited for our podcast sponsors, United Faith Mortgage, because they are a faith and family team. It's run by a father and son, John and Ryan. They've been through a lot together, and they are going to make sure that you are well taken care of. They treat you like family by giving you their direct lender advantage. That just means there's no middleman. When you refinance your home, it could get you a better rate, could save you monthly and lifelong money. So if you're ready to refinance your home, go with someone you can trust. Go to unitedfaithmortgage.com. United Faith Mortgage is a DBA of United Mortgage Corp. 25 Middle Park Road, Middle New York. Licensed mortgage banker. For all licensing information, go to Animalist Consumer Access. Or corporate Animalist number 1330. Equal housing lender. Licensed in Alaska, Hawaii, Georgia, Massachusetts, North Dakota, South Dakota, or Utah. There's so many tough news stories every day that we like to bring you some joyful news. All right, I love this one. I could relate because growing up, I used to go to baseball games with my dad, and I was the kid getting autographs. Like, I'd be at the, the fence getting the players' signatures. So hearing about this 11-year-old boy who lost, he got tons of autographs, and he and he kept them in a binder, mm-hmm. and he lost that binder. It's a lot of work to get every single one. Yes. I know you have to wait in lines, and you just hope that they'll sign your ball or your card. Yeah, we'd be there hours in advance, like before Man. the game. Um, so the word got out about what happened to this kid and all of a sudden he just started getting tons of autographs from like around the country, like people sending him stuff from like, you know, like Greg Maddox. He's an awesome pitcher or was an awesome pitcher. <laughs> Joy. Which, some of these are probably worth money, right? I know the yeah. really elite ones are a big deal. Did he get any of those? Oh, he did. He got a Mickey Mantle Even autograph I know that is. sent to him, which is ridiculous because I don't even have a Mickey Mantle. I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, if I had it, I would not be sending it. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here, Joy. I'd be set for life. I'm just kidding. It doesn't pay that much, but still. <laughs> if you're in the car right now, it's a battlefield. Any Getting anywhere these days. I'm so grateful you're listening to us, but other drivers are crazy. Yeah, so I saw something crazy on my way into work. So the first stoplight I'm at, I look over. It's a nice day out. So he's got his convertible up, Ooh. and he's got an electric razor, and he's shaving his beard, right? <laughs> So I'm already, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, wow, look at him go. You're like, that's a multitasking man. At least it's at a stoplight. It was at a, yeah, red light. So then we go. The next light, I'm right next to him again. This time, Joy, he's got a Bic razor. You know, like the straight edge Bic? (laughs) Yeah. And he's up to like his rear view and he's trying to shave, like trying to get his his sideburns like straight. What? (laughs) And I'm like, what is this guy doing? Did he have shaving cream and everything? He didn't. Oh, that's even more dangerous. That man's face. He cut himself. (laughs) He's in pain right now. I know there's a lot of things people do, mostly because they're running late. I will admit. I've done a lot of things like put makeup on and I'm not proud of it when I'm driving but I just want to know the craziest thing that you've seen because it's rough out there (laughs) so tell us if you can top someone shaving their face (laughs) in the road I'm glad you got here safely Tom it's a miracle my dad actually was changing clothes and got pulled over by a cop what what, changing clothes driving yes I don't even know how you do that cruise control Um, Use no. your knee to steer. <laughs> Hold on, I'll take your shirt off. <laughs> this is upsetting. <laughs> Especially the pants. You could change a shirt, but you can't change your pants. You gotta pull off from that. Yeah. <laughs> You know what it's like when you look forward to something so much and then it doesn't happen. Today is actually producer Tom's birthday. That did happen. But the way you're celebrating is kind of falling through. Yeah, unfortunately. So my in-laws were supposed to come into town to help watch the kids. And Jessica and I, we were going to get a date night this weekend. I know they already have reservations at yeah. a steakhouse. I've been actually hearing about it for weeks. And now they can't come. They can't come. So my mother-in-law got COVID. <laughs> Oh, no. Of all the things, right. it's horrible. It's, she went on a trip last week, and that's kind of it. Just it happened, you know. So Jessica's frustrated because she has been looking forward to this. It would have been probably the first time we had a date night, possibly since uh, Maddox. I don't. It's been a while, In, like two years. <laughs> two so years. I, my husband's a better person than me. I went home and told him, and he said we're babysitting for them. <laughs> so I texted Tom's wife and told her, and she was like, "Oh, girl, we couldn't possibly." And I'm like. 
Let me do it. <laughs> Let me you don't serve really you. want to do that. I don't want to do it, but I feel like it's the right <laughs> thing to do. I want to bless you. I want to send you guys out on a date. So yeah. I need you to convince your wife. You think she doesn't trust me with kids? I think she trusts you. She just doesn't want to lose you as a friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> the kids are a lot, Joy. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Afternoons with Joy podcast. If you want to hang out online, you can find us on Instagram under WayFM Afternoons or on Facebook under WayFM Afternoons with Joy.